Hey, what is up, guys? It's Robert, aka RJ. Welcome back to our NASCAR Heat 5 Championship season. Right now, I'm going to do race 10 of 36 in the 2021 season. I'm going to Talladega Super Speedway, Talladega, Alabama, for the running of the Geico 500. So, a previous race I did was at Richmond, and I mean, it was sort of kind of what trouble because I kept hitting the AIs just a little bit sometimes, and they kept wrecking or getting loose a lot, but. It was a good race, honestly. I had some good runs. I stayed in the top 10 for most of the race. Had a couple of weird things happen throughout, um, to the end of the race. But other than that, I finished, what was it, 8th last time. It's been a couple weeks since I last did the Richmond race. So, But yeah, I finished 8th if I can remember right. Um, and if you do watching this, I do apologize. This was really, really late too. Uh, this was supposed to go out on a Saturday, but I was busy. I didn't have any time to film it, so it's going to go out really, really late. So by the time you're watching this, this will probably go out the day before the Kansas race, which will be a, a Friday going, which will be a Friday and then the Kansas race on a Saturday. But as long as we get a video, everything's all good. So yeah, but other than that, um, we're going to Talladega and this is a restricted play track, so anything can happen. So I definitely feel comfortable about this race. But without further ado, we'll just get right on to racing. I'll show you all the settings and we'll get ready to go racing here at Talladega Super Speedway. Settings, same as always. Only thing I'm gonna change here. I'm gonna put that enabled since we're going to a play track. So those are but the settings I like. So same as always. Points after Richmond. So I got a pretty decent points lead. Denny Hamlin is pretty close to points. So he's right there. Um. So yeah, and he also won last race at Richmond. So if the playoffs were to start today, it would be Kyle Larson in that last playoff spot, only by two points ahead of Bubba Wallace. All right, so I'm not gonna qualify for this race because I know I'm gonna qualify dead last. So honestly, there's no point of qualifying. So I'm just gonna skip to the race. I'm gonna start 38. So two drivers are going to the back, but we'll get ready to go racing. Joey Logano is gonna be on the pole for today's race. And it looks like Chase Briscoe missed driver introductions. He's going to the back. And Eric Amarillo had an engine change after qualifying. So two Stuart Haas drivers. And the curve push looks a bit slow today. Which I'm not sure why. But it's how they got. I'm pretty sure he'll be up there maybe. We'll see. Alright, here we go. Race 10 of the season here at Talladega Super Speedway. And the green flag's in here. Run away here at Talladega Super Speedway. And by the way, I'm driving Jimmy Johnson's rail I call it. It's been a little bit since I ran last ran this car so I thought I'd run it again. Alright, It is 14 laps in stage one. I'm already all over the place. Still there. Got one peeking outside. Back straight away. Got Mark Trick here right behind me. Maybe I'll get some draft help from him. Who is that all the way up to the outside lane? Can't tell who it is. Looks like maybe Josh Kubicki. Maybe. But well, we're going to complete the first lap this time around here at Talladega Super Speedway. Anthony Alfredo looks like it's going to be the first lap. Yes, he will. So Anthony Alfredo leads the first lap. There is 14 laps in stage one. I don't know if I said that or not. I'll just say it again just in case. We're all around. I'm still moving my way up there. Up to 34. No pressure from behind. It should take me a little bit, but I'll get up there eventually. Right side. Still there. Oh, to Benedetto. He is all over the place on the outside lane. All right, though. How about this? Jamie McMurray, the racer. Jamie McMurray actually finished seventh last week at Richmond. McMurray, south front main box. I do crack right the top 30. I want to hit that double yellow line. I mean, it's no penalty, but it's definitely illegal in real life. So far, so good. Oh man, we're going four wide. How about that? Careful, still there. Right side. 
Okay, so I want to mention this while I'm racing right quickly. Um, I'm not targeting all of my fans, and I'm not trying to be mean here or rude. But I just want to give out a warning right here. Um, I haven't seen it in my comments lately. Um, I wasn't going to point this out, but I thought I should because I keep seeing this. But lately, I've been seeing a lot of inappropriate comments in one of my YouTube, a couple of my YouTube videos. I need that to stop, honestly, because I don't want to, you know, keep seeing that because I'm not into that, you know, that sex game and all that. So, just in a nice way, I just want the, those comments to stop. Let's try to keep the um, comments respectfully. Keep it professional. So, that's all I just wanted to point out. And, if one of my fans is watching this too, I checked out my YouTube channel last week too, and I noticed that someone recorded me. All because I had my Canadian Tire video wrong, which is back in race two. I had a Daytona Road Course, because the Daytona Road Course is not in the game. But, if you watch the videos, you would understand why I would do that. I did that. I knew this was going to happen. Stay on the bottom here. But, um, I just think it was stupid to report me like that just because I had a title name wrong. Like, I didn't really like that. Honestly, it got me a little bit frustrated when that got reported. I'm still fine, though. I mean, I wasn't mad about the unsubscribing thing and the unliking, but the reporting thing just because I made a bad title or I got the track wrong. Listen, I've been watching NASCAR since 2008. I know what track is what. I know all my drivers. So don't take it the wrong way that I don't know anything about NASCAR. So that's all I just wanted to point it out there. With all due respect. Thank you very much. But anyway, let's get back to this race. I had to get that off my chest. But um, we completed five laps. I can't tell who's leading the race, but I did crack the top 15. Just got around Corey LaJoy and now getting around Jimmy Hill. And one more thing too, imagining that this is 2021 too, because NASCAR Heat 5 didn't come with the 2021 DLC, so that's why I'm imagining that this is 2021. I know this is 2020, but I'm just imagining it's 2021, you know what I mean? But that's all I wanted to say, I'm not, you know, frustrated or anything, I just wanted to get that off my chest. That's all. But I am that nice guy, I just wanted to, I just need to get that off my chest because I wanted all that to stop honestly I'm a nice guy like I said but when stuff doesn't go how I want it that's when I step in that's all basically but enough of that let's get back racing I see Joey Case is out front leading that's incredible Michael McDowell second Chris Busher third Anthony Alfredo fourth Austin Dillon fifth well I just got around him now Oh, I didn't even check the... Okay, yeah, we are going to have to make a pit stop maybe before the stage gets over with. One car has lost the draft back there. Not sure who that is. But yeah, we are going to have to pit before the stage gets done and over with. Unless we get a caution, which I have a funny feeling that's going to happen. Yeah, Kevin Harvick right behind me. Michael McDowell, who won the Daytona 500 2021. Oh, yep. I just said it like five, ten seconds ago that we were going to get a caution. Yep, I told you it was going to happen. But we got a caution. I'm not sure what it's for. Kyle Busch? The only one not pitting, and he's running back there dead last. I want to say it could be for him. I am going to pit. Uh, I think we're only going to have three laps to go before the stage. So, I might try a strategy. I'm going to go no tires. I'll put a little bit of fuel in the can. We'll try that. 
I mean, I got nothing to lose too, because I'm already locked into the playoffs. I wanted to try something. Hopefully, get a stage and maybe get some stage points. But I might gonna have to pit again. Plus, dude, this is how they get two, so it doesn't really matter with tires. You just gotta make sure you don't blow them out. We do have three laps to go on the stage. Yeah, somebody's out of this race. It might be Kyle Busch. But that's Kyle Busch. He's definitely going to lose points. That's really base right there. So far, so good. Oh, I hit the apron. I don't want to do that. Wow, look at all these drivers. You don't hear from a lot that's up here. Crazy. Yep, that is Kyle Busch out of this race. So Kyle Busch had an issue. So he'll definitely have to try to rebound next week at Kansas. Or at least tomorrow, because by the time this video comes out, it'll be on a Friday. Uh, what is it? Friday, May 1st? No, Friday, April 30th. I'm sorry. And then the Kansas race will come out May 1st. Okay. Because May 3rd's on a Monday, and I have college finals on Monday, May 3rd. So, this video will be on Friday, April 30th, and then the Kansas race on May 1st. It was supposed to go on Saturday, April 24th, but like I said, I was too busy with college. And I was busy with other stuff. I didn't have time to film. My final lap of states won. So far, so good. Oh, I don't want to hit that apron. I'm going to try not to block that much, but I want to try to get some stage points at the same time. We're getting our stage win. If I should get a stage win, this will be my seventh stage win of the season. afraid of trying to high lane. The block. I'll come down to Michael McDowell. Two front row motorsports drivers up here. Look to Alfredo. Back down to McDowell. Here comes Suarez up the middle, but I should have the stage all side by side. Who's going to take the stage? Oh, wow. What? I didn't get it. All right. Well, it looks like it had to be Alfredo is going to win stage one. Dang, man, I thought I had that stage in the bag. Whatever, but it was good stage racing for the stage win. So it looks like Anthony Alfredo is going to win stage one, and I finished second. Chase Elliott, Kurt Busch, Daniel Suarez, Michael McDowell, Joey Gaze, Cole Custer, Quinn Howell, and Kevin Harvick rounds up your top ten. So now I'm going to pit and get fresh tires. And I'm not going to make any adjustments because this is tall. They got no reason to make adjustments. Well, that stunk. I thought I had that stage one in the bag. Oh, well. It is what it is. I did get some valuable stage points, though. All right, stage two underway here. It's how they get super speedway. There's going to be 12 laps this time around in stage two. Got a good start on the outside lane. I don't want to go out too far though. That's when the pack will start chasing me down. So far, so good. Oh wow, they're going to go 4 wide for second place. That Quinn Howell that made a 4 wide? Yes, he did. He had a big run. I had to put a huge block on Quinn Howell. I somehow managed to make that work. Otherwise, if I would have did it wrong, it would, that would have ended big. Or that would have not ended well. Here comes Harvick with a run down below. 
I'm not going to block that much. I don't want to continue blocking early on in the race. And all of a sudden I make a bad block and end up wrecking myself. That would end up bad. Harvick's going to push me to the lead. By the way, that streak continues. Ten races in the books. So far, I have led at least one lap in every race. Oh boy, I'm being really aggressive. I honestly should have just let Harvick have it. I made one mistake, I should have just let him have it. Almost cost another big one. Wow, look at Quinn Howe go. First he had a big run, about to pass me, and now he just split the outside lane. He's got the top of Eric Jones up there. Yeah, look at that, Quinn Howe. Race leader here at Talaga Super Speedway. Got some more cars on the outside lane. Now looks like Eric Jones can get to the bottom lane. He's got help from Joey Gaze. I'm getting help from Harvick. Still there. Oh, look at the speed I got. Still there. I'm trying to get into Joey Gaze to side draft. Still there. Didn't quite do it. Oh boy, I got loose. Now Hamlin's gonna split the middle lane. I'm gonna get Kevin Harvick. Here comes Kyle Larson right behind me. And Kyle Larson's right now showing in that last playoff spot. Kyle Larson would definitely love to get points. With this, I'm gonna push Joey Gates back to the lead. Right back around Eric Jones. being around Joey Gaze. Yeah, see, because every time I try to pass him, he always comes down because he wants me to work with him. That's sometimes a difficult part with the draft on is that the AI, the AIs want to work with you every time you try to get around them. But I love having the draft partners on at Daytona and Talladega. I got any chili case that time. I keep my nose underneath him. I work. Oh, we made contact. Sorry, Joey Case. I'm going to get back to the lead. Help from Eric Jones. See, Eric Amarillo is up here. Eric Amarillo hasn't had any luck lately. And he won the fourth race of the season at Las Vegas. We looked in points, he's right now 21st in the regular season standing. So he definitely needs to have some strong runs. Because in order to be in the top in order to be in the playoff eligible, if you have a win this season, you gotta be in top 30. Eric Gumarillo is getting closer and closer to being in that being outside the top 30. That's why he's gotta have some strong runs. He's still got a long way to go until the playoffs are, but. That would be a good time to have some strong runs. But you never know what could happen in the upcoming races. But Amarillo taking the lead. Excited to get around me. Now I got my Hendrick teammate Chase Elliott working with me now. Oh. Wow. I'll tell you what, we're racing hard. Need some contact with Anthony Alfredo. I got Kurt Busch behind me. Got a big pack of cars. Right. Every car except for Kyle Busch, I can see in that pack. 
There's about 39 cars. Ah, I gotta stop going below that double yellow line. Please. One shot for Licky. That's for Licky in a good finish with the 500. He's dropping outside of the playoff spot too. He needs to have some good runs too. Try to get around Eric on Marula to take the lead back. Looks like I will. We should make it back on the field. We'll be all right. All right, race leader once again here at Talladega Super Speedway. Got three laps to go in stage number two. Oh, there's a caution. That's going to end the stage. Well, I'm going to grab the stage win. A caution did happen. So that's what, my seventh stage win of the season? So, I, I mean, I don't want it like that, but I guess I'll take it. So stage results, I win the stage. Josh Felicki second. Chase Elliott, Eric Amarillo, Kurt Busch, Michael McDowell, Corey LaJoy, Cole Custer, Joey Gase, and Matt Benedetto is your top ten. And I'm going to pit four tires and fuel. We'll get right back up there, and I should be the race leader. Yep. All right, final stage about to get in the way. We'll see who's going to take this um, race win here at Talladega Super Speedway. Green flag back in the air. We're going to have 18 laps to settle this. Looks like another car is out of this race, so... Another car must have had engine trouble or something. Got into a terrible wreck. Have to find out who that is once we get down the front stretch. Boy, the joy's putting the middle lane. Sometimes I just don't block well, so like, I don't know why. Like, these are just times where I don't block it well. Right, let's see who this is. Looks like David Reagan. David Reagan's going to be out of this race. And we are going to have to make one more pit stop for this race to start an over with. Gonna try not to block early. It's still way too early. We still got 17 laps left. But if I'm up here for like maybe like five laps to go, then I'm gonna have to start doing some blocking. Right side. So I'm just gonna sit back and be patient. And if I do let a lane open, I'll just have to let it go. Like I said, I don't want to be too aggressive this early on, or then I can just wreck myself like that, where I just made a bad block. Outside, outside. Clear outside. Right, 16 to go. Yeah, three by three by three by three. Outside. Outside. Outside by himself. The Alfredo back out front. That Austin Dillon behind me. Oh, Alfredo's loose. Okay. I don't know what happened there. I'm trying to work with Alfredo and he just gets loose. Oh, Alfredo. Oh, Alfredo. Uh oh. Hold on to it. Hold on to it. Oh, I'm coming back up the track. Hang on. Saved it. Oh, maybe not. Saved it. Wow. Goodness gracious, man. Like, I'm trying to, you know, push the FBL Fredo, but he just kept losing it. He almost lost it off of turn number four, and then 
all of a sudden he loses it coming into turn number one. I avoid it, but then I hit the apron and I'm still getting loose. I made a couple bad decisions by coming back up the track. I'm trying to stay down below the track. But, man, that was close. Unfortunately, though, I that cost me a lot of spots. We still got plenty of time, though. It could have ended a lot worse. I'm just glad everyone saved it, though. That almost ends bad. It could have ended up in a big one. Joey Gase is still off front leading. Oh, Brad. I don't know why he's pushing up the track like that. Just like I mentioned earlier, um, it was supposed to be next Saturday night, but like I said, I didn't upload this on a Saturday because I had too much stuff going on. I didn't have time to upload it. So by the time this video goes up on YouTube, this is going to be on April 30th. So tomorrow night, we're going to be racing at Kansas Speedway. That's the original schedule. So tomorrow night, we're going to Kansas Speedway for the uh, Digital Ally 400. Oh, Cole Custer. Jeez, man, everyone be aggressive. But yeah, um, uh, tomorrow night, 8 p.m. Eastern Time, 5 p.m. Pacific, we're going to Kansas Speedway, a mile and a half race Stay track, low. so it should be a good race. Still we got there. Darlington next after, after Kansas. That's going to be a throwback race. I'll definitely have my That's throwback right. piece being ready for Darlington. Oh, caution. Okay, I don't know what happened. Oh, Harvick's back there. Yeah, David Reagan's out of this race. Kyle Busch is out. Alex Bowman's way back. A lot of good drivers back there. Byron's back there. Blaney, Hamlin. I'm kind of back there a little bit in 13th. But I am going to make my final pit stop. Four tires and fuel. I get back out in the way and I drop back 14 spots but it just concerned me so I don't get that oh let me not say it let me not say it okay I don't want to say it because if I did say it I was gonna get it but green flags back in here we got nine laps to go it's like a wreck just happened we got nine laps. I'm definitely going to be aggressive here. Careful, still there. Oh boy, he was stacking up that inside lane. Got one outside now. And nine laps to go. Still got plenty of time though. How big is the track or anything can happen. Okay, I am going to have to be aggressive though. I don't want to stay back here too long. There might be some occasions where I'm going to have to force my way down there and make some passes. Eight laps to go. Oh, this pack is tight. Eric Jones trying to take the race lead away from, I believe, Joey Gase. Uh, back in 21st after I almost had a close call with me and Anthony Alfredo could have ended bad worldwide still three wide I know it's 18 I have seven laps to go this time around. That's some good racing. There's Jones leading. Ah, I'm not going to go much draft. I'm going to tuck in behind Corey with Joy.
Jones still leading. Got Ross Chastain is up there. Don't have to worry about fuel. Six laps to go. On my way to the top 10. It is not over with yet. In the clouds up here. A lot of surprises up here. Now Brad Kozlowski, who won the real life Talega race up there in the front. Oh, I got a huge run. Look at this. Up to seven. Coming to five laps to go this time around here at Talladega Super Speedway. Kurt Busch now the race leader. That's Benedetto trying to get up to second place. And Benedetto needs some strong runs. He hasn't had the best luck this season. He's been having the good runs lately, including Bristol, Martin Tour, and Richmond. Right now in the top five. Matt to Benedetto to the lead. I'm trying to see if I can go for my sixth one of the season as well. I haven't won since Bristol. That was two races ago. I went on a two race losing streak before, but my third race, I won, but we got a caution. Caution out with four laps to go. Oh boy, this gets really interesting now. What happened? Ty Dillon? He's the only one pitting. So he might have had problems. Oh man. I'm going to be on the outside lane though. It's going to be a problem. Oh boy. Green, white, checkered. I'm restarting on the outside lane. How is this going to play out? All right, green flag back in the air. We're in overtime. Oh, I got a good start. Oh, I'm about to turn myself. Great start. I don't want to get too far out ahead. I got a great start right here. Yes, see, here they come. What happens when you get too far out like that? That's Benedetto. The outside lane. He's still running the outside lane. Now he's going to cut down to the bottom. Then it cuts the white flag this time by. At one day total 500, can I win here at Tower Lega Super Speedway? I do a lot of blocking. Alright, here we go. White flag in the air. Final lap here at Talladega Super Speedway. Can I hold on for one more lap? Or will somebody make a last lap pass on me? That's really base right there. Be surprising if he wins. Block the Benedetto. Joey Gase. Still block the Benedetto. Uh, blocking these lanes. Well, here comes Chase Elliott in the turn number three. I might have this race in the bag. Here comes the Benedetto with a run. I have to find try to block up high. I think I should be all right. Gonna try. Gonna come down to trial, but I'm going to hold on and I'm going to win the Geico 500 here at Talladega Super Speedway. Yes. Oh, good race. Six win this season. Yeah, let's do some burnouts. Oh, yes. Winner at Talladega. This is race number 10, and that is win number six. Oh, man. Honestly, that was some good racing. Good racing at the end. Had some close calls. But that was definitely some good racing. Now you know what it's time for. I always do this at Daytona and Talladega. Alright, 
I gotta call the car. Alright. It's time. Salute time. I seen a salute in the Arca race and I was happy for that. How about that? Tricky place to win at the restrictor plates and I won at both of them. Daytona and Talladega. This is a bigger track too. This will take a little bit. Good race, honestly. Good race. A lot of fans in the grandstands. Right. Now we can burn this thing down. Yes, sir. Winner at Talladega. Yes! And I blew this engine. I'll park it right here. Well, I found what happened to Kyle Busch. I was just about to get the thumbnail, and I found what happened here. Oh, he just blows a tire. Well, and he just loses it. Oh, there they go. Big one. Oh, Kyle Busch. Oh, Kyle Busch. Almost was on his side, but he saved that. Take a look again. Kyle Busch almost hit the flip. Luckily, he kept it on all four wheels. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. And he saved that. All right, so race results here at Talladega Super Speedway. So I get the win here at Talladega Super Speedway. Got my sixth win of the season, and I also won stage two. Had a close call during the race, but I was able to come back, and I was able to grab the win. So I went here at Talladega, Matt Benedetto second, Chase Elliott third, Joey Gates fourth, Austin Dillon fifth, Tyler Reddick sixth, Eric Umbrella seventh, uh, Josh Blicky eighth, Brad Kinslaw's ninth, and Michael McDowell rounds up your top ten. And there's 11th on back, Kevin Harvick 11, Anthony Alfredo 15th, he won stage one, stole that stage from me, but um, props on Anthony Alfredo for the stage win. And then Kyle Larson, Mark Tricks, here, Chase Briscoe rounds up your top 20. 21st on back, Chris Bush for 21st, Ricky Sinhaus 25th, and then Kurt Busch rounds up the top 30. And there's 31st on back, Logano finished back there in 31st. Hamlin 36th, I don't know what happened to him. Bowman 37th. And then David Reagan and Kyle Busch rounds up your field. So I've definitely gained a lot of points now with number one because of my win and number two because of Denny Hamlin fishing way back there. So I definitely gained a lot of points. And that was my sixth win of the season. So still got five different winners this season, which means... Each joy like a, well, Brad Kisowski and Joy Legano is actually tied, but Joy Legano would be in that last playoff spot. Only by one point ahead of Ty Dillon. Amarillo is actually tied too, but Amarillo is already logged into the playoffs. So that's what the playoff things look like. And there I am in victory lane for the sixth time this season. And it comes here at Talladega Super Speedway. Yes! Winner of the Daytona 500 and I get a win at Talladega. So both play tracks. Yes! Winner at Talladega. Pretty good. And I did finish 8th at Richmond, so I was right at that. So, winner at Talladega. Really good. Next race, going to be at Kansas Speedway, Kansas City, Kansas, for the running of the Digital Ally 400. So, going to have a mile and a half racetrack. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for today's video. Um, if you want, be sure to like and subscribe if you want. And also, turn on post notifications, so that way you can be notified whenever I upload a brand new video or when I do go live. I'm not going to go that big on my YouTube a lot no more since um, I don't get that many followers. I'm going to try a couple more things, so I'm not really going to go that big. Um, follow me on my Twitter if you want. Join the Discord and TikTok. I'd be posting a lot of TikToks on there too, so if you want to follow, check that out. The link will be in the description below. And one more thing before I head off. I did say this once, and I will say this again. I want the negative comments to stop on my channel, please. With all due respect... I want the like the sex I don't want to see any sex on there no more so if I keep seeing that I'm just gonna ban you this is your warning 
But if I do happen to see it again, I will ban you from the comments. So, in a nice way, and this is just a warning, please keep the comments professional, please. I don't want to see any negative comments, and I don't want to see any, you know, inappropriate content So or comments. So, let's chill with the comments, please. If you don't have anything nice to say, don't put it in the chat. I want to try to keep the comments respectful. Have it like we treat each other like as a family. So... That's all I'm asking. Just please keep the comments respectful. Please. I'm a nice guy and all, but um, when I see stuff that I don't like, that's when I have to step in. So, just one last time, just please stop with the inappropriate comments. Otherwise, like I said, I will just, you know, remove it. And if you continue to do it, I will just, you know, block you if I have to. I don't want to have to do that, but if it comes to that part, that way, then so be it. But without further ado, ladies, ladies and gentlemen, um, you guys have a good rest of your night, and I will see you all in the next video at Kansas. So have a good night, rest of your night, ladies and gentlemen.